It's Monday morning, and that means it's press conference time at BYU. The Cougars coming off a solid 29-16 win over San Jose State on Saturday, their biggest win of the season. Halfway through the year, I'm Jared Lloyd, BYU football beat reporter for the Daily Herald and for CougarBlue.com here with Jason Franchuk, BYU football columnist. Jason, halfway through the year, BYU's 4-2. and two. What are your thoughts of, of what the team has done so far this season? They're, they're getting there. But it's like Bronco said when I asked him after that San Jose State game, they're behind what they thought they would be at this point. They're still finding a quarterback. They're still finding a running back. I'm not going to sing it this time, people, I promise. But, you know, as far as Michael Lisa coming on now and then Riley Nelson, I'm, a, I'm surprised how scattered they are. Now, they need to get Riley more reps. That was the reason why he played that whole game. They've got to get him in situations, and that's a good thing. And he provides maybe more than BYU thought it would need as far as he's the guy who's able to make play action work, not a naturally better passer than like Jay keeps. But they still have worked do defensively. Jared, you asked a series of good questions about just as far as consistency that second half. The, they're not clicking nearly like people thought they were, and frankly, they're not as exciting of a team, I don't think, as people thought they would be at this point in the year. Well, and it's true that they're not that exciting of a team at this point. They're still, you know, they weren't able to put the hammer down. They got up 23-6 to over over uh, San Jose State, and you know, kind of a disappointing second half. Didn't really play all that well. They've got some big games coming up, including this weekend, when they go to Oregon State and take on a Beaver team that uh, didn't look very good early on in the year, just got a big win over Arizona, so maybe a team that's improving a little bit. What does BYU have to do this week? Well, you look at uh, Oregon State, and they lost a team from Sacramento. Sacramento State the first week, they got jimmered the first week of the Come on, people, NBA. <laughs> but as far as what they have to do, they've got to move the ball effectively. I thought what they were really good at was Riley Nelson pointed out they didn't punt obviously against uh, San Jose State, and they turned over the ball a few times uh, down close uh, to scoring range there, getting some touchdowns. But as far as they were able to move the ball successfully, stay on schedule, first down, second down, very reasonable third downs. They were effective on third down, kept the ball moving, kept the clock moving, and finally wearing teams out like they've been known to do in past really good seasons. So that's real key is moving the ball defensively. I still think they can force more turnovers than they are. I think they're a little better than they give themselves credit for in the secondary and then their linebackers. You saw Jordan Pendleton finally come back. Kyle Van Noy's solid. Yona Kavanga, he was quiet that, that game, but getting Matt Putnam there on the defensive line will help too. So just a lot of improvement they can make, but you're starting to see the parts come through a little bit more. And Jason, what you said I think is a big key for this team. I think that confidence is the one thing this team is still developing. They've won some close games. You know, four out of the six games have been decided pretty much in the last couple of minutes of the contest. This is a team that now needs to figure out how to have a killer instinct. When they go up against a team where they get a lead, where they really have a chance to put the hammer down and put the game away, allow the backups some reps on the field late in the game, they haven't done that yet this year. Maybe they'll do it this week against Oregon State. BYU will take on the Beavers at uh, 2 p.m. Mountain Time, 1 p.m. Pacific Time in Corvallis. Should be a good game and a good test for this Cougar team to see where they're at at this point in the year.